If you have siblings, then you know the joys of having to live with them, or the joys of having to learn how to put up with the many things about them that you just can't stand. For me, there were many things that both my brother and sister did, I swear, just to annoy me. But my sister has to top the cake with how unbelievably careless she was when it came to being clean. If you remember from my introduction speech, I'm a pretty organized person. All my pillows are lined up and my closet is color coded. Now, picturing that, think of the exact opposite. Well, that's my sister. I used to walk into a room and literally have to push open the door because there was a pile of clothes behind it. Getting to her closet was like playing that game where the ground was lava, except in her case, it was the ground that was safe and the piles of stuff just might kill you. Surrounded by questionable laundry, crumpled papers that were probably important, and hair ties and bobby pins galore, I honestly don't know how she could sleep at night. I'm the type of person who has to clean their room before going to bed, even if it's midnight. I have stopped halfway through writing an essay just to put one thing away because it was bothering me. Annie, on the other hand, couldn't care less about something being out of place. This is assuming that she knew where anything belonged, which was a rarity. If you asked her, which my mom did frequently, she would tell you it's supposed to go right there. Even if it meant her next homework assignment should be lying in the middle of her floor, underneath the sweatshirt. I would have to say that I can give full credit to Annie for my pet peeve of messiness. Starting from a young age, I, every time I went to shower, I would have to kick a pile of her clothes into her doorway. And most every time I went into her room to find something led to an argument, usually with the words disgusting, uptight, and annoying thrown around. Thankfully though, she has now moved out of the house, and all I have to do is close her door and wish her roommate good luck. <laughs>